A great start to the day and a great start to life. The Childbirth Belief in Action Conference opened with a video of a very happy birthday. Mother and midwife calm and in control. Paul Clark, the MP for Gillingham and Raynham, performed the official opening. The conference was organised by Sue Stevens from Kent Doulas. Midwives are stressed. The way that they are working, they're stressed, they're doing long hours, there aren't enough of them, they're under-resourced. Women have to knock on the door and they say, have to say, this is what I want. And you've got to have midwives saying, yes, this is what I want to provide. And it's bringing the two together and that's what I'm trying to promote today, getting people talking about it, discussing what is possible. One of the main attractions was Mary Cronk's talk on breach presentation. The legendary midwife has more than 40 years experience and has published widely on a number of midwifery issues. Her message to midwives working alongside doctors in hospital was to believe in themselves and their skills. They need to be empowered. They need to be empowered to say we are professional women, we are midwives, this is our um, vocation and this we can do. And thank you very much, Mr. Bloggs. It's lovely to know you're there if we need you. And close the door quietly as you go out. Diane Garland works as a freelance midwife, lecturing all over the world. She's also a leading authority on water birth. Women often describe from being like a dolphin. You know, you know, they can actually move for the first time in nine months in the pool, which they can't always do on dry land. They certainly... Many of them zone out, they go into themselves, they almost regress, they, they shut the world out and a lot of women seem to feel the need to be able to do that when they're in labour. An active birth yoga class is about much more than exercise, it's about developing the physical and mental strength pregnant women need. That's what yoga teaches you to do, listen to your body um, and there's, you know, it's a really important time during pregnancy to um, particularly in birth, to, to become more instinctive, listen to what your body wants to do and just go with the flow of birth. The run-up to having a baby can be a hectic time. The Birth Art Café is a new concept to give women the time and space to tap into their inner creativity in preparation for motherhood. It seems to make a huge difference. It really helps them to connect with their own intuition, their inner wisdom. I don't offer advice. I really always bring their questions back to themselves and to really go deep within. One of the biggest talking points of the day was Orgasmic Birth, a DVD shown by Patrick Hauser of Fathers To Be. Although the film is titled Orgasmic Birth, it has very little to do with the big O. <laughs> you know, it's actually about how are we supporting our families. Patrick Hauser's main aim was to bring a man's point of view to the conference. Now over 90% of fathers are at the birth of their children. So we have a, it's a cultural revolution basically, or evolution if you will. So the whole family is involved, but what we fail to do as a society is to support that process. The event was held at the Midwifery Teaching Centre at the Medway campus of Canterbury Christchurch University. It houses a mock-up of an NHS maternity unit where delegates were invited to put themselves in the position of a woman arriving at hospital. Upstairs, the innovation space was organised by consultant midwife Sarah Gregson to showcase support groups and alternative pain relief methods such as massage and maternity reflexology. There's a lot of people that maybe aren't very senior in their jobs, but they've got the ideas and they've got the enthusiasm and the passion, and that's something that I really feel that anybody who is senior in the service um, needs to listen to people and try and make those ideas happen. Midwives were also challenged to reassess routine hospital practices, like the use of vaginal examination by Oxford University professor Mary Stewart. There's very definitely a time and a place for doing a vaginal examination, but it's doing it with sensitivity for, for when you do it and how you do it. A number of legal issues were hotly debated in a lively question time. Lawyer Andrew Andrews stressed the responsibility of midwives in the labour room. She's a practitioner in her own right and ultimately accountable for the decisions and actions she takes while she is responsible for the woman. And the analogy I would give is rather like writing a menu. The clinician writes the menu and the woman accepts or rejects what is on offer. And rather like a menu, she can say, what about? And the midwife will say, yeah, that's a good option, let's run with it. 
Influential midwife and government advisor Professor Leslie Page summed up many of the day's themes in her seminar on keeping birth normal, something she and her fellow speakers agreed was possible with imagination, teamwork and self-assurance. We are the people who can support normal birth and we do that by instilling confidence into the woman and her family. They are midwives, they do know what they're doing. They do understand labour. If you really believe that you can do something and the people around you really believe that you can do it, then you will do it.